welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click the subscribe button down below. The little bell next to that, if you click on that, that'll give you notification of when I upload new videos. Welcome back to all my returning friends. I'm so glad you guys are here. Happy Saturday to you. I'm Jody. This is my channel, Jody's Creative Corner. I share all sorts of things. In the past, it used to be Dollar Tree hauls, different kind of store hauls, cooking videos, which I'm still trying to get back to, um, Tasty Tuesdays, um, truck chats, car chats, talkie vlogs, any hobbies that I do, cross stitch, crafting, um, crochet, knitting, all the fun stuff. Kind of took a little break from the hauls, just not really wanting to get back into that. Today I do have a haul for you though because this is all things baby, all things baby girl. Grammy Joe's having lots of fun, getting fun things for little girl to be. And yeah, so that's gonna be the haul. A little bit later this weekend, I'll have my floss tube up for cross stitch. Let's talk about some damage that I've done um, the last, there's something over there, but I don't know where that's at. That's been a, before we even knew that um, Christopher and Ivy were having a girl, I had bought something at a craft fair. And I don't know where it's at in that pile, so we won't get into that one. But I got baby things. Went shopping today. Um, some Meyer, some Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Michaels isn't all that, that fun. I had a, a $5 coupon voucher rewards that was expiring today that I had to use up so didn't find any yarn anything across the stuff that I needed so I just grabbed a huge bag of the polyfill between my coupon and the other, not coupon my voucher and a 20% off coupon I think I paid a dollar 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 fifty for stuffing and I use this for any little crafty things that I do to stuff what I'm working on a bear um i should did i share yarn in my last haul of that that i was doing i may have i mean i don't remember if i did or not um i can't share any progress anywhere on social media because i don't want ivy and christopher to see it before the shower so that's a little bit of a bummer but just be prepared come april after the shower I will take snippets of videos before I pack up the stuff that I don't want them seeing. And then I'll share everything later. So can't share any of that. <clears throat> I went to dinner with a friend um, Thursday. Today's Saturday. Thursday. She's up from Texas um, with some family stuff going on. So I told her, I said, if you ever have a break and you want to have dinner and drinks, to just talk, cry, vent, anything, give me a call. I'll be up for it. So she says, I know it's last minute. Can you do dinner? I could. So we went for dinner. She hands me a little Grammy gift and I don't know where the bag is. Um, she says, this is something for you to keep at your house, to stay at your house. It does not go to Christopher. She's been in our lives since Christopher was seven when we moved to this house. Um, the Block family, that's his friends. Um, lived around the corner and anyways so I've known her for many 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 years so she gave me this cute little um it's a washcloth but it's got a cute little elephant on it it's so cute and just the fun little colors and then this of course the inside is the terry cloth for a washcloth don't know if I'll use it for a washcloth I think I'm just going to use it just for a lovey here at the house so I haven't taken the tag off yet but just a cute little Grammy gift to keep at Grammy's house. Doesn't go home to mom and dad. It stays here for us. So I have that along with the next thing that I'll be showing you. I'll get into my clothes shopping a little bit later. So that was from, from my friend Bobby and that'll just stay in here. So I'm gonna, I've got a bin that's off camera. You can't see it, that I'm gonna start putting stuff in that I buy that won't get to the kids until April for the shower. Um, this next, um, I know I'm going to be showing you when I was in Utah in October, one of the um, craft stores out there, Pine, Pine Needles, 
they have a cross stitch section area and then they've got their quilting and fabric and everything so they're more quite fabric line but like i said they do have cross stitch um i saw this quilt this is before i even knew that they were pregnant had no idea um saw it and i just fell in love with it it has, it has little foxes on it so i'll be showing you that um just a cute little thing and i was like this will be just a fun little thing to make not that i quilt i was going to give it a try um a blanket a quilt to leave at, at graham's house so bought the fabric thinking okay i'll get to it someday um a couple of the gals in my tight knit cross stitch group um ones that i went out to in utah with we get together we've gotten together once since stitch con when we went to wisconsin a couple of them quilt and so and i was going to have them learn me the ropes eventually so i bought this fabric all intention. I'm just, I'm rubbing the back of it because the back of it has minky minky um, fabric on it, and it's so soft. That silky soft, so so soft. Um, bought it. I was gonna bring it home and then just take my time learning how to do it. And I just sent a snap a snippet of it to Ivy and said, "Look at this! Isn't this a cute blanket?" And I didn't think anything. They knew that they were pregnant then, but we didn't know. So she said to Christopher, "Says, does your mom know?" I was like, I don't know. I haven't said anything to her. I'm like, no, mom did no. Not until the following weekend when we came back. We had our little family, family outing to Frankenmuth, Michigan, and that's where they shared us the Grammy, Grammy cups that are over there, Grammy, Grandpa and Grandma cups. But anyway, let's get onto the blanket. So, bought the fabric. This and that. One of the guys at the table says, "There's a girl over yonder, over there, that quilts." Just kind of go see if she can give you some pointers outside of what we can give you. So I went over and I was talking with her and I just told her, I don't sew. I don't sew a straight line to save my life. That's not my my forte of sewing. Would I love to learn? Yes. Do I want to learn? I'm still going to learn. I don't know when. I, that's not really another hobby I want to pick up. So we were going to talking and I said, I go, if I just put it together, can you quilt it and then do the binding for me? And she's like, I could do that. And she says, you know, I can do it start to finish for you if you would like. And I'm like, now we're talking my language. She says, let me work up some prices and I will let you know. I'm like, okay. So she came over, gave me a thing, gave me the price. I'm like, okay, let me, let me think about it. Showed it to my friend, Linda, who does fabric stuff. And she says, that's a good price. So... I gave her my fabric. Only met her at Utah at the Stitch West um, cross stitch retreat. Never met her before, but in the cross stitch community, trusting that I would get my stuff back, and I did. I was in constant contact with her, and then I went once we found out that we were having um, the new grandbaby. I said, "Okay," because I, I told her, "I said, no rush, take your time. I'm in no hurry for it. There are no grandbabies on the way." Well, then once we got home and found out. I just sent her a message. I said, not that it's that much of a rush. I said, but there's a baby on the way now. I said, so can we put a little bit of a rush on it? But I mean, I technically don't need it until June. That's when she's due. Um, and I'm not, this is not something that is going home with them. This is staying at my house. So this is a Grammy quilt staying here. It's not in girl colors. It's not in boy colors. It's in green because it's a forest theme and I have a whole theme that I want to do in my office. I'm going to set up a little corner so I have a little makeshift nursery and I've got some cross stitch things that I'm going to do. They're going to tie in with this. I cannot wait. All the things that I want to make, right? So back up without hitting anything over here. Here's the quilt. So it's the greens. I'll bring it up close for the, the fox. So the top part, repeats at the bottom so then you get the little foxes in there and of course again down at the bottom and then the back it's all brown and it's that soft soft minky and she's got it quilted and it's just so so pretty and again here i'm going to fold it so you can so we can see look at those foxes are they not the cutest little thing there's an itty bitty baby one down there but it's so cute. I love, 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 love this quilt. And again, this is something staying at my house. 
um, here for that. But one of my baby items. Put that over there. And then the rest is from today. <clears throat> Picked a few things up when I was grocery shopping at Meyer. Meyer is for people not in this area. Um, kind of like Walmart. Um, you get your clothing, household supplies, and then you have your grocery shop, grocery section. So I picked up a couple of things this morning. Let me find out which ones I did this morning. And then I got the rest is from Walmart. Um, picked up this cute little Carter outfit. This is a newborn size. I told her I wasn't going to buy but one or two newborn items. Um, I want to make sure I can have Grammy stuff that I can give to her for all stages of baby life. But I did this. This is going to be what we're going to bring up to the hospital. Once baby girl's here, we don't know the name yet. They're not telling us. And these cute little pants. Oh, it's got a little hat that goes with it. But look how tiny these pants are. They're so cute. And the colorway is kind of a peachy pink. She's not a pink, pink girl. She likes more of the, the rose the rosy mobs, dusty rose palette. They've got a whole line that they're doing for their nursery with the, the dusty rose, tan, beige, cream. So the yarns, I think I shared the yarns. If I open the iCloud, iCloud, what is it? One of the corners has the little iCard. That's what I was saying, iCard. For the video that I did last, I think my yarn was in that that I'm doing. But anyways, this is more of a peachy pink color. I don't know if it'll show kind of true to color. And then a cute little onesie on there and it says sweetest little one on there. So it's got little dragonflies on it and some flowers. Um, yeah, so th this one has the dragonflies. So that is a newborn gift that's going to go the hospital one. This is three months onesies. So I got these at Myers as well. And those are more true to color. So they're all the same. Um, so they all have the cute little bowl on the front. So we've got the, the peachy color one, a darker peach. And then um, it's a green color. Um, a mint green, but not a pastel -y mint green. And then a gray, and of course it's got the little bow on it as well, and then a purple. Because gotta have purple, because she's going to be Grammy's girl with purple. So, those ones I got from Meyer, And then these I picked up at, where are the other little, little itty bitty things? We'll, we'll find them. Picked up at Walmart. So some more onesies. These are three to six months. So in the, I think those are peaches on there. And then a green and white striped onesie. And then this one has the little peachy colored flowers. So just a little onesie. And then they're there. The rest of them, um, kind of these hats and mitts will kind of match. So it's a thing of three hats. So this one's got the little teddy bears on them. She's got a teddy bear thing, theme that she wants to do for the shower. So all things teddy bear. And then a dusty rose color hat. And then this one that has stars and moons on it. This will go with one of the, the outfits that I picked out. And then a pack of four mitts. You've got your dusty rose. Um, it's got a little birds on that one. And then the stars and moon on that one. And then this one has like little houses and trees and a swing set. Swing from a tree that ties in with this little packet of sleepers. Um, so this one has a house, a tree with a swing, and a little dog and a little bird on there. So just the cute little, little things on it. And then this one is just a solid color. Um, it's kind of a rusty mauve color. 
It's not as bright as what it's showing up on camera. This has got stars and moon, moon on it. The little footies in them. And these are zero to three months. So right now I'm doing the zero to three months. I'll be getting six to nine months eventually down the road. And then this cute little outfit, the last outfit that I bought today. This is another one, three to four months. This is a Carter's brand and it was on clearance at Walmart. So just a cute little jacket, kind of like the newborn one. So it's got the little jacket on it. The little onesie is white and it says family makes me happy. And then the little pants. Let's go this way. I have little birds on them. So just cute little, little pants. So first of many shopping trips of clothes. And then Hobby Lobby, I went to the yarn store yarn store. I went to the Hobby Lobby to pick up yarn. I didn't want to drive out to Jenison to the yarn shop that I go to. <sighs> Give my wallet a little bit of a break. Not that yarn is that much cheaper at Hobby Lobby, but it's a little bit cheaper there. I picked up some purpley, rosy, dusty mauve color yarns. So I got this one, which is Ballet Slipper. So it's a a pale mauve, I guess I want to say, with a hint of purple tones to it, which will blend in nicely with this one, which is plum pudding. So I got that. And then the one with the variegated yarn. It's called paper mache. So it's got those colors that all tie in with this. So I'm gonna be doing Oh, I've got so many baby patterns that I have saved, that I've had saved for many, many years. Um, where I can knit some little pants or some little skirts with some ruffles, crochet, all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of that. Hats, little fun little bow, headband things to do. It might even tie in with... I didn't share one outfit. Hold on. I, d I did find another purple outfit. There wasn't very many purple outfits. I did get this one. It's got the little footies and it's got little butterflies on it. And this one is a two-way zip, so you don't have to take their arms out when you're changing them. You can zip up from the, the bottom and bring it up, just take their, their legs and their bones out. It's the only thing I could find in purple. What do they have against purple clothing for little girls? Gotta find purple clothing. The, where are the onesies? Um. Maybe it'll go. Yeah, it might go. I brought this with me to Hobby Lobby so I can kind of match up some colors, which I have in here. So I've got some of the green and the peach. The green is called Green Light. And then this one's Bashful. Yes. So they have, it's the Baby Bee. Baby Bee line sweet delight is the yarn brand and they have their names right on the front of it so this one's bashful this one is green light so that would work with the greens and the peaches so along the lines making things that will go with those onesies on there and then i got three skeins of this which is gingerbread so it's kind of a a brown that I have a romper that I will try to remember to insert a picture here. That I'm gonna make with this. Um, she knows she's getting this one so I can share this one along the way. That's the only one that I can share because I told her about this one. Um, because I wanted to know what color she would like. So I'm gonna make it for six to nine month range, six to nine months range, maybe a little bit bigger um, for the winter months. So by the time baby get baby girl gets to Christmas time range, when the snow starts flying, if the snow starts flying, because we didn't really get our significant snow until this month, January, just last weekend, the weekend before, whenever gender reveal was, that's when we got all the snow around the 13th of January is when we got our first, first, bouts of winter but anyway so got that yarn I'm looking 
Is that everything that I bought for baby girl so far? That's just the start of many, 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 many fun shopping trips that I can do um, for baby girl. So I'm gonna put all my yarn back in my bag because that will go into my office to work on in between phone calls while I'm working. Um, and then, even though I'm gonna talk about this in my next video, um, my hobby plans, I'm kind of changing things up that I'm doing. January, I was doing a three day rotation with my cross stitch, which I'm going to alter it starting in February. Still be able to touch my cross stitch projects, but I'm going to probably use the weekends to do yarn crafting. So Monday through Friday, I will do my cross stitch during like the early morning hours and then evening. During the day, when I'm working, I'll be using, I'll either be crocheting or knitting because I can do that at my desk while I'm working in between phone calls. So I gotta, gotta work out my plan, how I'm going to incorporate getting all of my crafting done that I need for the shower that has to be done by the end of April, but I think that'll come in with another video. But that's my haul for today. This will be going up a little bit later this afternoon. Like I said, this is Saturday morning. It's a gray, dismal, rainy day. Oh, 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 oh. I will be inserting a short little video and it's going to be a vert vertical video that I did on a Snapchat video that I'll be inserting of the incident that happened yesterday while I was just getting ready to eat lunch. So I'm going to insert that video here. Look at our fun. This just fell off the roof just now all of that ice fell from way up yonder took out the gu the gutter thankfully it did not hit my car have i told you all lately how much i freaking hate winter all right i'm going back to lunch bye so that was fun i have to get the sidewalk cleaned up john and i have to go out and clean that up to get all of the stuff that fell when that came down crashing down onto the ground so we got to get that cleaned up get those there's still the big chunks of ice that we've got to get off the sidewalk so once they start melting i don't want them just to pull there to make it a slippery mess so i want it, we got to try to get them into the yard out of there so we've got to do that sometime today um and then we will be going out to dinner tonight so all right i'm gonna get off here now i just wanted to share all my fun little goodies on my little shopping haul on there, but I will talk to you guys in my next video. Remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys.